Hi, welcome to my channel. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Don't forget to check the description to this video. I have links to some of my popular videos, a link to my Amazon account for a lot of things that you all ask about. Don't forget I have a bunch of playlists on the homepage of this channel. Thank you. I think Kimberly was the first person to introduce me or to mention um, rutabagas in the first place. And um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's Kimberly, but I could be wrong. I'm sorry if I am wrong. But except where Kimberly's from, they call it Swede. Anyway, and I believe, Kimberly, you're the one that said to put it in the microwave for five minutes before I peel it. Well, I had tried it before, but I'm not patient because <clears throat> it's so hot. But that's what helped soften the exterior so I'm going to do that today and we're going to microwave it for five minutes because I know, you know, a lot of us, we don't want to be beating and banging on our knife if we don't have to. So we're going to try this five minute method and I will get back with you after five minutes. The rutabaga is out <clears throat> of the microwave. We said it went for five minutes. That really, five minutes really definitely melts off all that wax that they have on our rutabaga and um so like i said some of us not say us some of y'all and me i know i shouldn't um necessarily be uh, hitting a hammer on my rutabaga or on my i shouldn't necessarily be using a not a, a hammer on my knife i'm gonna try a potato peeler It's pretty warm right now, so I might have to let it cool first. Yeah, I'm going to let it cool first, and then we'll cut it up. But like I said, all the wax that we, that we have when we buy ours here in the United States, it's gone. There's no waxy, yucky on it now. So I'm going to let it cool, and then, but in the meantime, I'm going to cut up this jicama. You all have seen me do jicama many times. I just cut one in. And then the other end, and then I just start peeling. Let's see if we can use a peeler on it. Yeah, it works somewhat. This is a much better looking jicama than I got last week. I guess it just depends on how fresh the jicama is that they put out. They've had some really good looking ones. Um, in my store when I went yesterday. Today's Saturday. And so yeah, it looks like you can use a potato peel on these. It can't say it's any easier or harder, but get ribbons in there. I guess it is easier. <laughs> Sometimes the jicama has thick wax, kind of like the rutabaga, so this would not be as easy. But like I said, these must have been pretty fresh. I like jicama raw. In the past, I've cooked it. You could do a, a search for Terry Lee's jicama, and you can see some of the things I've made with it. I honestly, having now had rutabaga, I would never, at this stage, um, do any cooking, use rutabaga to cook with, because now that I found, or, or, or I'm sorry, never use jicama to cook anything fancy with, I feel like rutabaga, or, rutabaga does everything that jicama, that I was trying to make jicama do. Jicama, I, I don't feel like is a good uh, vegetable to like cook up to replace potatoes. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. I would not use jicama to replace potatoes now that I found rutabaga. It just, there's just no comparison whatsoever. Um, if you don't have rutabaga, you can try some things, but ugh, don't mash it. I tried mashing it and that was the nastiest thing ever. But maybe it's just me. I don't know. You try what you want to try. There we go. Now looky there. 
And look how much wider this is compared to the last one I bought. So let me get rid of this and we're going to cut it up and I'll be right back. I want you to see the difference. See, this is the fresh one that I just did and this is the other. Let me cut this in half and you'll really see the difference. More surface area. That's the difference in the two. This is white. This one is going to taste more sweet, more fresh. These, this is the old one. I'm actually going to throw away the old one and then just use the new one. Okay, so now we're going to cut these up. Like I said, this I like jicama. You can slice it. You can dice it. You can do all kinds of things with it. Hang on. First off, yeah, let's go this route. What I plan on doing is using my my chopper with it and make them smaller. I had I had them larger last week, but you know as we talked about, my salads were really big, and this I think will help my salads be a little on the smaller side. So give me just a second. Okay, let's finish up cutting our jicama and we can get on with stuff. So here's my chopper and uh, I'm just going to lay, uh, these are a little too wide. Let me see. Let's try cutting them in half. See if that works. This is what I use for my rutabaga bites and for my salad. I think I use this size, not the smaller size. But I'm going to go ahead and chop these up and I'll get back with you. Okay, there we go. Jicama. <coughs> and it's in perfect little bite size pieces for my, for my salads. It's just a bunch of little bitty bites so I can just put some on and not get too many and they're not too big or chunky. Okay, I think it's cooled down a lot quite a bit. So let's uh cut the end off. It definitely comes off a lot smoother. I'm just gonna store it right there. That's dirty anyway. Now, where did I put my peel? There we go. I don't even know if you need a peeler. You might be able to just scrape it off with your hands. Or with the spoon. No, it's not a very good angle. I'll move you all down so you can see from another angle. Hang on. Okay, so now let's try it. It kind of gums up in my peeler. Try this. Or, what if we try a... Kind of try scraping it a little bit. It's not bad. I think this is why I didn't do it, keep doing it because it's not as This part is not as beneficial for me. Let me try this again. Let me try this one going with this way. It's definitely easier to, um, it's not as, as difficult. You all see my knife's going right through it. Um, so, you know, if you don't want to do it the other way, if it's the other way is a little too difficult, you can definitely try this method. 
It's softer, so your knife slides through it a whole lot easier. I use my rutabaga, a lot of it for in raw form, you know, for salads and stuff. So, <clears throat> what I was thinking about a while ago is, so now, this is, see how you can tell the difference? This is cooked. Some of that's cooked. Let's cut it in half. Oh yeah, you see how easy that is to slice? So it's it's hot, it's warm all the way through. And like I said, I use some of my rutabaga in raw form for my salads, and now it's mushy. So I, I'm gonna admit, I'm not, for the way I use it, I think I will continue to do my other way. Now, I did want to slice some up today for my breakfast here in a little while. But um, if you're going to cook yours, this is a great way instead of parboiling. Like later I could actually, so some of the things I can do with it, I guess really now thinking about it. You know, I gotta, I have to process things if you don't know that about me. Like my poor team comes in, they're like, Terry, we got da 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 And I'm like, send me an email. And they get so tired of me saying that. But I have to process things kind of slow. It's just how my brain works. I can't just, otherwise I jump and I say and do something and it's not really a, the right thing for me to do. So anyway, so I'm processing this thing. So I'm just thinking about some of the things that I can do. So with these slices, I will be able to use these for my breakfast. So I will just kind of set these over here and these will be, I'll use these, I'll, I'll pan fry them in a skillet. And they're kind of parboiled now since I did it that way. So I can use them that way. And this one we're going to do, we're going to use for um, french fries. Like the air fried french fries that I did the other day. We're going to use these, so I'm cutting these a little thicker. And we can make french fries out of these. Move those out of the way here. So I'll just make them into long fingers. And then... Um, I can just put pop these in the air fryer whenever I want to. I'll pop them in the freezer. And then whenever I want to have some air fried french fries, I'll just pop them out and use them. So there we go. That's some options for doing these whenever, like I said, it kind of par cooks it, partially cooks it. So now I'm going to put these in containers. Hang on. Okay, I've got them in a container and I'll just put on here. Vega fries. I'll put times two so I know it should be kind of probably two servings. So I'll put this in the freezer. I'll be using these this more uh this weekend. So I'll have I'll use half of it today and half tomorrow. So I'm just gonna keep the little stacks. And um there we go. I'll put a lid on them. This one might need to stand up. And then I'll put a lid on them, and then I'll know. I'll put this by my eggs. So I'll make these with my breakfast here in a little while. And that's my meal prep of my jicama and rutabaga for the weekend. Have a great evening. Bye.